How's it going, pigeons? Today I'm bringing you guys David Ayers career simulation. Yes, I said it. David Ayers. Of course, we all know him as the emergency backup goalie that stole the show against his own employer, the Toronto Maple Leafs. And obviously, David Ayers isn't in NHL 20. And frankly, the reason for that is that he's just way too good to be playing in the NHL. Just kidding. I had to make him in the creation zone. I decided to decrease his age to 23 so that he doesn't retire after year one. I figured that most goalies don't jump into the league right at 18, so I started him at 23. Did have to figure out an overall rating for him, though, and let's look at that now, but I picked a few possibly slightly cherry-picked uh, comparisons. Let's go. Here are Ayers' stats. Not great, but respectable for a Zamboni driver, right? Next up, we have Di Pietro. He's a top goaltending prospect, but his first two outings in the NHL haven't been so great. I heard he uh, still has a sunburn on the back of his net from the goal light going off so often. Uh, he's also a 72 overall in NHL 20. Uh, next we have Fukufuji, who's a Japanese legend, longtime goalie for the Japan national team. Uh, I guess he retired. I couldn't find him in the game, uh, but Japan's goalies were in the 50s, so I used their overall from, for comparison. And in reality... Uh, these other two goalies I mentioned are far superior to the GOAT, Mr. Ayers, in real life, but I think that my cherry pick comparisons could make a case for him to be 65 overall. Uh, realistically, he would be much lower rated, but don't want, to, don't want him to get torched too badly in this sim, uh, just to give him a chance. If you guys want me to do another sim with him at a lower rating, like 36, I will though. Uh, let's get into it. I put him on Carolina and would usually sim as another team but because Ayers would get sent down automatically, I'll control the Canes from here on out and automate as much as I can uh, to keep him on Carolina and in the NHL. Year one, you got Mrazek and Ayers. Pretty good tandem, if I say so myself. 65 overall, like I said, HL fringe G low, which is the lowest, and then 75s across the board. That was just to get him to 65 overall. And heading over to his contract here, I assigned him an eight-year two-way contract just so that he stays on the team for as long as possible. Unfortunately, he suffers a hamstring injury in his first year. And at the end of the season, Caroline has a miserable season, finishing third last, 73 points. Didn't score many goals, gave up too many. Power play wasn't great, and PK below average as well. Let's head over here to the individual stats. I had to go find him in the contract screen in the system because I guess right after the season he gets automatically sent down. But his stats are the same, 75s across the board. Still eight years remaining. Let's look at his totals. Looks legit. Looks like an NHL goal to me. Bad record, but on a terrible team. One shot out, above 902, 3.06 goals against. That's respectable. Decent season for errors, much better than I expected. Maybe he'll maybe he'll grow in the off season. No awards here for Ayers. I'll just quickly rip through these if you guys are interested. Um, nothing going to any Carolina players as well. Let's hop into year two, why don't we? Your year two lines, similar up front. On the back end, signed Petrangelo and Brody in the off season. New top pair. And goal, still Mrazic Ayers. Ayers still at a 65, now 23 years old. Uh, poise is up to 76. Everything else is the same, but poise always goes up by one when you're a younger player. And let's skip to the end of the season now. Carolina improves a little bit, but they're still outside the playoff picture. 79 points only. Miserable goal output. Goals against went up slightly from last year. PK, not great. Dave's stats, once again, got sent down at the end of the year, but 75s across the board, except for poise, up to 76, or still at 76, rather. Individual stats, shockingly good save percentage, and a much improved goals against average, as well as one shutout. Record improved a little bit as well. I don't know, maybe this guy has a horseshoe in his back pocket or something. One point as well, just the icing, icing on top of the cake there for him. We'll see. Didn't grow in year one, so I'm not expecting him to grow into year from year two to year three, but you never know. Your year two stats here, nothing to note. Lots of Dallas Stars, no Carolina Hurricanes, no Davy Ayers.
Year three, Carolina signs Freddie Anderson in free agents to a three-year, $5 million contract. Ayers is still the backup there up to 24 years old. Uh, stats stay the same. Poise goes up by one. Six years left on that deal. Nothing nothing too crazy happening with him. I was hoping he would go up or go down, but here are the forwards. Gusev is the addition. Also, Lucas Raymond there, prospect on the fourth line. Should be up in that lineup. On D, similar. And at the end of the season, Carolina makes the playoffs for the first time in this sim. Florida just got unlucky there. Missing the playoffs with 95 points. Carolina, negative goal er, goal differential. Still managed to make it. Good PK. Here's playoff tree quickly. You can tell they lost in game seven of the first round. Again, no awards for the Hurricanes. McKinnon takes home the Art Ross, the Hart, the Lady Being. Con Smythe goes to Carlson, but nothing for your Hurricanes or Mr. Ayers. In year three, Ayers' fame got to him, and he was hitting the bars too much and got in trouble with the organization, so he got sent down for a bit, a little conditioning stint. Just kidding. Uh, had an issue with the coach sending him down and calling up Reimer instead because he was higher rated. Uh, after this, after I noticed this, I decided to trade away any goalie that was better than Ayers in the organization other than the starter. His season wasn't the greatest, though, registering at 897, although he did have his first winning season of his career, I guess, apart from his one win in real life. The highlight of this season was when he saw playoff action coming in relief of Mrazic, and, and in that game he had a shutout in half the match. Heading into year four, here's Ayers' stats, still with uh, Freddie as a starter. Accidentally simmed a few games in the season. Um, poise slowly creeping up there, everything else static at 75. Uh, here's the rest of the team, looking pretty solid, pretty pretty young group. I think they have what it takes. TJ Broder there in fourth line left wing. d is pretty solid with this young 19-year-old prospect here, medium elite, third overall pick in the year prior's draft, I believe. End of the season, 104 points, third overall in the entire league. It's a great year for Carolina. Goals against down at 2.54. Here are the awards for year four. Cup goes to Dallas, second time in three years. Bruins win the Presidents, Dallas, and it was Dallas versus the Pittsburgh Penguins in the finals. And Ross goes to McKinnon again. As well as the Hart, Carlson wins another Norris, Pasternak wins a Lady Bing, Sky wins a Calder, Seguin wins a Con Smythe, Vesna goes to Soros, and here's the atrocity. So Freddie Anderson wins the William M. Jennings, which goes to the goalkeeper of goalkeepers, who had the fewest amount of goals in the season. But the kicker is that both goal to be featured, both goalies have to play at least 25 games. And unfortunately, Ayers only played 21. So he got absolutely robbed of that trophy. Playoff tree, as you guys can tell on the right, lost to Pittsburgh in six. Airs his stats here at the end of the season. Same as the start of the season. And it's a career year across the board for David Ayers, registering eight wins, five losses, and three overtime losses. So his first career or second career winning season, two shutouts, nine seventeen save percentage, two point five goals against. That's that's a really good season for Ayers. One point to boot. Hey guys, just wanted to check in here before we head into the next year's simulation. If you guys are enjoying this video or my other content, I encourage you guys to subscribe. But that's it for me. Keep enjoying the content. I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Heading into year five with Davey Ayers. Still at 65 overall. That's no shocker. Last year of his natural growth. Poise is up to 81 now. Everything else is still at 75. Four years left on that deal. Let's look at the rest of the team here. Raymond jumps up to the first line. This is a pretty solid team. On D, Delmore continues to grow. Should be a good team. At the end of the season now, finishing sixth, one point shy of the 100-point plateau. Carolina Hurricanes, good, uh, good goal support for air, so maybe he had a few decent amount of wins. PK, not great. Individual stats here in 20 games, close to 500, miserable save percentage there at 866, and a dismal goals against average at 3.7.
Not a great season. Definitely held Carolina back a little bit. Maybe his Zamboni driver bot is breaking down, or maybe the Magic's just worn off at this point. But we'll see if he can have a bounce back year next year. Uh, awards here quickly. Obviously, Airzies ain't taking home any awards. Let's see what year six has in store for David. Looks like he's taking over the stars job. See how long that lasts. Still at 65, reaching 27 years of age now. Poise has stopped climbing. Three years left on that deal. End to the season. Sixth place again, 104 points. Good season for the Hurricanes. 3.61 goals for the game. That's great. Goals against are under three, so maybe that bodes well for Ayers' goals against average this season. Let's see. Oh, that's an atrocious season, and you gotta wonder why they're keeping him around. He must be, must be the best backup goalie, just locker room guy all around. No shutouts. Below 900 save percentage once again. Did get a shot in the playoffs. Uh, jumped into two games. Didn't start either of them. Not great save percentage, but better than. Uh, what are we used to for him and goals against not bad Auto wins the cup and the presidents I'll fast forward through these awards Nothing spectacular here JG Pajot wins the consmith good for you, buddy David Ayers isn't taking anything home and neither are the hurricanes Your seven lines seem to have signed Louis Domingue which is an interesting starter. So maybe Ayers will get some, uh, get a fair share of games this season. Rest of the team, forwards are looking okay. Bottom six isn't stellar. Decor, Petrangelo down there, down to an 81. So not sure about this season. And Carolina finishes third last in the league, only 73 points. Goals four, not great. Goals against, terrible. That's really high up there at 3.51. Hard play, okay, and penalty kills average. Individual stats, yeah, Domingue struggled. Ayers, though, proved to be a solid backup once again. Um, bounce back season for him. First time above 900 save percentage in three years, and that's a career high for games played. Uh, eight wins, 12 losses, two overtime losses, and 9.03. Not bad. The awards, Dallas Stars win yet another Stanley Cup. Art Ross goes to Ryan O'Reilly. don't usually see that. Other than that, no awards for your Hurricanes. Year 8. The Deming experience is over. Kane signed a legitimate starter. 35-year-old Robin Leonard. That's a pretty expensive contract, but we'll see if it gets it done. Ayers here, 29 years old now. Stats have stayed the same. Last year of his uh, eight-year two-way contract. Rest of the team, yeah, this is not this is not a good lineup. Worse than last year, and that reflects in the standings. 26th place finish, only 80 points, below three goals per game four, and well above three goals against again, three goals against per game. Robin Leonard struggled this season with injuries and his overall play. Uh, it was a roller coaster year for Davey. Proved his off ice worth as an off ice guy and found a party after a road game in Vargas. Vargas, Vegas. The unfortunate part is the boys got after it a bit too much and the starter got hurt in a bar fight. Leonard. Canes found out it was Ayers' fault, so they sent him down to the A as a punishment, and he proved he was too good for the A after just one game. He got called back up and went on to play a career high. 42 games despite carrying a below save, below average save percentage and goals against average. The word screen once again yields nothing for the Carolina Hurricanes, but the only thing that I, I gain from looking at this screen is, wow, look out if you're not the Dallas Stars. They are an absolute wagon in this franchise mode. Heading into year nine, Ayers is now 30 years old, and Leonard's down to an 80 overall after his poor, poor performance from last season. Stats are still up there for Ayers, re-signed to a three-year two-way contract. 
As year nine draws to a close, it's another unspectacular season for the Hurricanes as they just miss out on the playoffs with 89 points. Negative goal differential. And we'll see how that translates to Ayers' stats for this season. Magic appears to be gone for Ayers. Best years are behind him. Posts, posts an A91 with 3.43 goals against. Good news is he played 29 games. Well, good news for other teams, I guess. Let's see if he bounces back in year 10. In year numero 10, you have David Ayers backing up Samuel Montembeau. Ayers now at 31 years of old. Getting down to the last few good years of his career. Well, good, I say, relative. Up front, yeah, not bad. Not bad team. Young young kid here, Billy Foy on the second line, center spot. Decor. That's okay. Nothing to write home about, but we'll see if they can do anything. Fourth fourth in the NHL. Wow. Did not expect that from this team. Lots of goals for, lots of goals against. Individually, Ayers struggled once again. There's no juice left in those legs, looks like. Did have a winning season for the first time or the third time in his 10 year career. 860 save percentage and 3.75 goals against isn't isn't good enough though. Award screen here, New Jersey takes home the presidents and the Stanley Cup. Only thing to note is Billy Foy, our second line rookie, won the Calder Trophy. And here's the playoff tree. Carolina lost in the second round, as you can see. And that's it for David Ayers. The GOAT calls it quits after 10 years. Stats are on screen here. Um, I'm going to include another slide with his uh, stats just after this clip. But you guys can take a quick look here. Six total points. Uh, retires fairly young at 31. But uh, that 65 overall doesn't give him much room to uh, decrease and regress. So... I guess that's why he retires at uh, at a young age. Here are his career stats. 228 total games played, 74 wins, 94 losses, 21 overtime losses with 9 shutouts, a career 892 save percentage, and a 3.22 goals against average. So overall, not a spectacular career. But, you know, he carved out a decent career as a backup. He definitely did better than I personally thought he would. Um, his career stats are comparable to these current NHL goalies stats uh, from this past season. These are some pretty good goalies here, and, and it's pretty much like he had a bottom five goalie performance for his entire goalie, his entire career. Uh, every year he would have been in the top five in the current NHL, so not great when you're looking at that, but at least he's not far below uh, any any current goalies. That's it for me, gents. Uh, let me know if you like these career sims or who I should do next, who you want to see next. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.